Hello. Okay, friend. I forgot to check if there was audio before I started this. But anyway, it's moving. So, sorry if I look up there. I'm looking at making sure I'm all good. I'm in the screen. But anyway, it's been a while since I did an actual review. So it is. And uh, fairness. I've been watching a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, basically, from the title of the basically and what you see on the screen is we're gonna do a review <coughs> on uh, Loki so hopefully uh, I'm gonna show you is a recap of season one and then I'll talk to you is about it and then season two and I'm try trying to like change it up and you know See what you think with the recaps and all, but this has two seasons. I don't know if it has any more seasons coming. I think they kind of, I think season two, they ended it on a good note on how the rest goes from here. Um, um one of the actors, um, this guy. Just got arrested and Disney dropped him. Uh, he's not Kang anymore. A character called Kang. Um. So God knows what happened to Loki, but we'll see. And if there ends up being another um season, I will do a um review on it. So let's have a little chat. What is this? It doesn't. Pick up sound in the case. But I don't know. This is season one Loki. Um so I don't know if I picked the right one to be showing you, but it's like a remix or whatever. But uh anyway, the initial start of Loki was pretty much really good and um, kind of split off from I think it was Infinity War or Endgame one of them um, basically um, Cap had returned all the um, stuff and all like that and Loki had got his hands on the Tesseract and disappeared um, so he did and a company called the TVA um, found him basically and you know took him in and tried to get everything back all right and all that so that was good and um, I'm not gonna lie to you this Kang chap he did play a good Kang but unfortunately Disney has lost him now because he got arrested but um, yeah um, good seeing Owen Wilson in it uh, he's he is a good actor in it so he is, and that was season one. Uh, recap. So, just back on that. So that was a recap there that you've seen um, on season one of Loki. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I had a good ending to it. Um, kind of opened up the horizon for what was more to come for season two. You know, I went two, but that's four. But two. Sorry, hiccups. Um, but uh, let's give you some information before we get into season two. So, um, the creator is Michael Waldron. He created it, and there's a few actor names there that were in it, but I'll just show you it up here. So, I don't think you can see that there. Let me put me over here for a minute. Um, Tom Hiddleston, he is a good actor. He has played in a good few Marvel stuff, which he plays brilliantly in um, basically in the Marvel films. So, as you can see there, uh, he's was pretty much in uh, 
few things. I still haven't seen that early man, actually, just thinking. Kong Island, he was actually really good. I felt like he was, uh, funny enough, Loki in it. Um, so he was. Um, uh, Muppets Most Wanted. Um, oh, he does a voice. James in the... Pr the, pr the uh, Pirate Fairy. Uh, voice in Robot Chicken. Uh, Family Guy voice, Avengers of course, Warhurst, uh, Thor films, a lot of Marvel stuff films I see, uh, and a few other ones there. So he is Loki, he is the TV show, he is Loki, <laughs> so he is, and he's a brilliant actor. Um, Owen Wilson, straight off the bat. Um, I watched a good few things with Owen Wilson. Uh, he plays Morbius in Logie. Uh, he do, he's a um, he plays a guy crashing weddings and wedding crashers. Uh, he plays a little figure in that comes to life in Night of the Museum, uh, one and two, I think maybe three. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I watched. Um, the night, night in the museum. I keep going to go say nightmare before Christmas or something like that. But anyway, uh, also I think it was meet the parents. Uh, meet the meet the fuckers part. Um, oh, Starky, Starsky and Hutch. There's one crashes right there. Uh, Loki was in Ant Man apparently. I can't remember who he was, but anyway. He's in Bliss, which is another film. He does a voice. Oh, he does Lightning McQueen in Lego Incredibles. That's hilarious. He also does Lightning McQueen in Cars, basically. See Cars. One, two, three. Zoolander as well, actually. Um, but yeah, on Wilson. So, another good actor in it. Uh, this one, I think I only started to like like her in the sense I'm like I didn't know who she was at first. But Sophia Del Matteo probably butchering her name. But uh she plays a variant of Loki basically woman, girl Loki basically. Uh Sylvie is her name in it in Loki. Um I'm trying to see if I know any ones that I know. She, all I can tell you is she's a good actress. I probably have seen her in something. Midsummer Murders might have. Uh, I wasn't really f a fan in the sense of like I didn't watch it constantly, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, not very many. But uh, she is a brilliant actress, so she is, and she plays Sylvie, which is the little girl Loki in. Poor. So she's proper savage, so she is. Right. This one needs no introduction. Tara Strong. She does a lot of voices, as you can see there in that little small preview video. Um, basically, sorry, I've got an, an itchy head. But anyway, um, she plays Miss Minutes, which is that clock uh, there on the left next to her, and uh, next to Batgirl. Uh, in Loki, which she only has talking roles in it, it's not really, it's not her acting, well sorry, it is her acting, but it's not her in it, you know, she just does a voice for a, a character in the TV show Loki, uh, which she plays a brilliant uh, Miss Minutes, so she does, and a brilliant Harley Quinn, so I have to say. Right, this guy, oh, he, this guy for me, I'm gonna say vanished in the small run in the sense of he was short round basically in the end of Jones uh, film. I think it was the Lost Ark or no, sorry, it says it there. But, um, if I just read, you know, uh, Temple of Doom basically, and he was in the Goonies as well. But uh, he was in it, and he plays it like a genius geek guy that fakes stuff and all that stuff. 
and he has a bit of comedic feel to him, but uh, he is really, really good. So he is. I actually need to get a haircut. That's I think that, that's what's annoying me. My hair is annoying me. But um, yeah, brilliant actor. So he is, and quite a lovable actor. Uh, then for not but least now there is other characters in Loki so there is um it's kind of like fuel them here at the main bit there or like the main part uh, so there is other people but I just picked the main ones out so just for last Kang which is played by uh Jonathan Mayers Majors, sorry, not Major, not Mayor, sorry. Um, he is quite new to me in the sense as well. Um, he's in Cree Tree, which I haven't seen. Uh, and if I have, I can't remember. Um, he's in Ant Man, which it, that kind of. I think that was that before Loki. Yeah, that was. Well, that was, uh, before Endurance. Says that they're 2021 to 2023, uh, and then Amman says 2023. But uh, yeah, I don't think I know much more from that than away from Marvels. And he actually hasn't got much roles. 2001 is it? What's the? No, 2011 is the, his first stuff that says it there. But he plays a good Kang, so he does. And basically, you know, he's not Kang anymore. He got into trouble and Disney dropped him, and that's it for his uh, character as Kang. Basically, I don't know what story with his next few roles, but he is finished, you know. So let's just have a quick. I think on season two, um, trying to make sure I don't steal other people's thing and just like this so season two as well. Season two, Loki. Just down to season two as well. I don't know if I'll get season 2 recap because it's only new and I don't, like I said, do you, I don't want to steal anyone else's thing. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to get to be able to show you season 2 <coughs> <coughs> recap. But anyway, season 2 was great, so it was. Um, it was a bit heebie-jeebie in the sense of trippy because he was like breaking time and all that I'm trying to give not much away for you to just be able to go off now after seeing this and check Loki out season 1, season 2 um, but it's trippy, season 2 is trippy and I think they ended it perfectly for maybe another possible season but if they're connecting it uh, the Marvel movies, the rest of the Marvel movies, with Loki, I think this is a good point as well. So it is. Um, I enjoyed Loki. Loki. I enjoyed Lo Loki, uh, season one and season two. Um, I have to say, I do love that uh, picture. That kind of like that's the kind of the end of season two. So I have to say. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's brilliant. He's grabbing like the lightning and all. It's quite cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't know as much I can say. Uh, as what you see there now on the IMBD 8.2 8 out of 10, which is quite close. So, if that not screams out, it's a brilliant show. Yeah, I don't know what will. But, uh, I don't know. Um, 40 minutes? 40 minutes is pretty decent for... Uh, this but thanks again for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this re review tell me your review on Loki if you have seen it 
and if not go off and have a look yourself and see what you think and then come back and comment or send a message or whatever of what you think um, so this is my review on Loki season 1 and season 2 uh, I'll see you next or I'll see you soon next on whatever review I do next so thank you bye